From your local election headquarters, Governor Charlie Baker announcing today he is ending his time on Beacon Hill. The Republican governor addressing the media late this afternoon on the decision. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer joins us live in studio with more on his decision and reaction to it. Brittany. Well, Shannon, both Governor Charlie Baker and Lieutenant Governor Karen Polito are not running for re-election. Baker calling the decision extremely complicated and difficult and say they love the work and respect and admire the people of the Commonwealth. He's described as a governor who reached across the aisle during challenging times. A very complicated and difficult decision. Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker announcing today he will not seek a third term despite being a front runner in early polls. The moderate Republican defied odds by being widely popular in a blue state. During his six years, Baker maintained support through Donald Trump's presidency and COVID-19 pandemic, but says those challenging times played a part in his decision. There is a ton of work that's left to be done as we come out of this pandemic to rebuild, recreate, reimagine many of the things that were busted during the course of all this. And we believe it's most important that we spend the next year focusing on that and not focusing on political campaigning. Baker also cited family as a key factor in his decision. The Republican governor and lieutenant governor even made strong connections with the Democrat leaders. I have no problem with them at all. They, even though they're Republicans, they worked across the aisle. Fall River Mayor Paul Coogan tells me the news was unsettling because of the Baker administration's support to southeastern Massachusetts. Coogan says the city was not prepared to battle the pandemic and Baker and Polito stepped up. Whether it was PPE, vaccinations, testing, uh, they work less closely in all those things. The decision announced less than a year from the primary, surprising many, including 12 News political analyst Joe Fleming. Uh, he's a very popular governor of Massachusetts. He's very popular among Democrats and independents, so he had a strong base to run from. If he ran for a third term, he would have been the odds-on favorite. And Baker's decision leaving a wide open race for governor in the Bay State. Fleming tells me he expects more people will announce their bid to run for governor in the next few weeks. Live in studio, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News. Governor Charlie Baker won't seek a third term. Lieutenant Governor Karen Polito says she's also bowing out of the race. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer joins us now live in studio with what both had to say a short time ago. Brittany. Well, Mike Shannon, Charlie Baker has been governor of Massachusetts since 2015. During that time, the Republican has managed to widely maintain support in a blue state through Trump's presidency and the COVID-19 pandemic. So it's a decision Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker says took months. It was a really big decision, which is why it took us a really long time to get here. The moderate Republican announcing he is not running for re-election. The 65-year-old was widely popular in a blue state and was leading potential candidates in an early poll. Baker and Lieutenant Governor Karen Polito say their decision came down to family and the pandemic. We both love the work, we love the people, and we love the experience that comes with this. But that pandemic, which is now 20, 22 months along, has been an enormous challenge for the Commonwealth and for the people of Massachusetts. Baker says his administration needs to focus on recovery rather than campaigning. Fall River Mayor Paul Coogan tells me it's what the governor has been doing all along, helping the city get PPE, testing, and vaccinations. Unsettling because they have been very nice to the city of Fall River and the South Coast in general. They both, uh, Polito and Baker, have come down here a number of times. They uh, respond when we call. They follow our concern. And while the decision leaves a wide open race for governor in the Bay State, political analyst Joe Fleming tells me Baker's options are still open. Obviously, if you're the governor and you're stepping down, your next step up would probably be U.S. Senate. But Charlie Baker is going to be leaving on a very high note, I think, in Massachusetts. People have a very strong impression of him. And Fleming says Baker leaving gives Democrats a better chance for a move at governor, but also more conservative Republicans. Live in studio, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News.